Howdy. So let's look at a couple of games that Alexa has that people with disabilities can play. Okay, so typically uh, when you're playing with a board game or when you're playing a board game, you have to have some level of you know physical interaction in that uh, you're either rolling a die or you are dealing with cards or you're moving a peg on the board. And that becomes uh, not very easy for a person with disabilities, whether they're blind or you know they may have hand tremors or uh, they, they may not have uh, good motor skills uh, or they may be an amputee. Uh, but you know, anyone with a disability, it may not be easy for them to play those games when they're by themselves, right? So let's see how we can use our friend Alexa to play games with us. So we look at two games. Uh, one is a simpler, easier one. It's called Word Master, where the player and Alexa, we just kind of exchange words. And based on the length of the word, we are scored. Uh, the other game is, uh, it's slightly more sophisticated. It's a role-playing game. It's called Dungeon, Dungeon Adventures, where, you know, Alexa, oh, so the game basically consists of you being in a village and um, you you have a mission, so like Alexa helps you maneuver and navigate through uh, caves and, and essentially the village, and uh, she helps you achieve your mission. All right. So let's start with the first one, uh, the word master. So what I'll do is I will just tell Alexa, start word master. Hello and welcome to the amazing word master, a game where we take turns saying words. Your word has to start with the last letter of my word, and vice versa. The longer the word, the higher the score. You can ask for the current score anytime by saying, what's the score? You can also ask for the meaning of my words by saying, what's the meaning? So, let's get started. My word is bureaus. Bureaus ends with S. Tell me the longest word you can think of that starts with S. Serendipity. Okay, you, 11, me, Seven, you said serendipity. Serendipity ends with Y. My word is yawning. Yawning ends with G. Tell me a word that starts with G. Gigantic. Okay, you, 19, me, 14, you said gigantic. Gigantic ends with C. My word is commemorate. Commemorate ends with E. Tell me a word that starts with E. Alexa, stop. Okay, exiting. Congratulations, you won by five points. Your companion app shows the net score. Thanks for playing. Thank you for playing. So um, as you saw, we were just interacting with each other, right? So just exchanging words and based on the length of the word, we were getting scored and we could just go on and on. Up. So I am not physically interacting with the game. I'm just sitting, I'm, I'm sipping my morning chai and um, you know, just sharpening my brain through this game. Now the other game, let's start the other game, uh, which is uh, Dungeon Adventure. Okay, so here, let me just minimize this. Let me shrink myself a bit. And uh, here, let's look at the, if you want, you can read the description here as well. Um, but essentially, you know, uh, you are somewhere and you have to finish a mission. So Alexa actually helps you, you know, she guides you through the whole process and she helps you envision what's going on. And then based on uh, the instructions she gives you, uh, you choose an action and keep pro progressing uh, through the game. All right. Mm -hmm. uh, so this th there's a lot there's a lot of instruction in this in this game, but uh, you will see that those instructions are necessary just to understand what the game is all about and just to understand uh, where the game is taking you. Okay. So let's let's look at this real quick. Alexa. Start Dungeon Adventure. Welcome back to Dungeon Adventure. If you haven't already, join us on Facebook under Alexa Dungeon Adventure for news and tips. You are currently in a dungeon. You are in a huge circular room. In the corner there is a large chest. In the corner there is a fountain. There is a ghost here. North there is a door. South there is a large stone door. West there is a door. East there is a door. The ghost is attacking you. How will you attempt to defend high, middle, or low? High. The ghost attacks you up high. You defend up high. You have defended the attack. It is your turn. What would you like to do? Attack. I'm not sure which way you are attacking. Please say attack high, 
Middle or low? Attack middle. Okay. You attack the ghost in the middle with your short sword. The ghost defends up high. You need to roll the ghost's armor class of 12 or higher. Rolling to hit the ghost. You rolled a 7. So 7 plus your strength modifier of minus 1 is 6. Oh snap! You missed. The ghost is attacking you. How will you attempt to defend high, middle or low? Attack low. You cannot attack right now. It is not your turn. Oh. The ghost attacks you in the middle. You defend down low. Your armor class is 8, so the ghost must roll at 8 or higher to hit you. The ghost rolls at 11. Kapow! The ghost hits you for 8 damage. You are dead. But let's see what? if the gods smile upon you and will intervene <laughs> in your death to bring you back to life. They will only look upon your dead body up to three times and each time it gets tougher wow. to have them Alexa, smile upon you. Stop. So, um... What you do not know is that I was already playing this game. So uh, Alexa had given me lots and lots of instructions already, right? So I was in the middle of the game and I was at getting attacked by a ghost and apparently the ghost actually killed me. So uh, again, so I hope this game gave you an idea of how, uh, you know, you're actually in a role playing situation where you are a person and you're in a situation where uh, you have to uh, either choose uh, whether you you pick a door or you know you're you're getting attacked by a ghost, so do you attack them back um, and things like that? Uh, so you just keep interacting with Alexa again, and uh, she keeps giving you instructions. She keeps telling you what to do uh, or what you should do, uh, and uh, you just keep progressing throughout the game. So these are two examples of of games that you can play with Alexa, and uh, feel free to like just explore. You know, so in the skill section on the Alexa app. Um, here, let's look for games. Or I can just say. Do you see games here? Yeah, there we go. So, you know, look in the games, trivia and accessories uh, uh, category. And you'll see lots of options, lots of games out there. Just keep exploring them. They're very fun. And, uh, you know, for a person with disabilities, it should be very, very easy to play these games by just speaking to Alexa, all right? So hope this video was somehow somewhat helpful and uh, uh, I'll see you later. Thank you for watching, bye-bye.